Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. Today, I'm joined by the best communications and event consultant in the business, Allison Burry. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for having me, Angela. I'm so excited to share some of our past experiences together. We've definitely been through some unique situations over the years. What are we discussing today? Today, we are talking about preparation. And if you're working at a new venue and you have a design team that has not had the opportunity to work at that venue before, to have a team meeting there and talk through the logistics and the details of everything that is needed. Well, tell us the story. What happened this time? Well, this time the bride wanted a wow factor and it involved fabric and drape and that's all she really wanted, like around the head table. And that's all she really talked about was the drape and the fabric and how pretty it was going to make this really old, kind of semi-rundown country club look a whole lot better. And so I had sketched everything out. I got it to the drape design team, and they, I, it's, I remember it like it was yesterday, and they said, oh, we haven't draped there before. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge because there's these ugly, ugly chandeliers that are there, and We were just going to turn the lights off and drape over them. And we talked through a whole game plan, just like we always do. Um, But we really, really should have gone out there. So on the wedding day, not only were they late because the truck broke down, their big truck broke down. And so another truck had to come to get all the fabric and all the uprights and all the sand socks and all the things that it takes to make this drapery safely go up. And the big ladder. And I mean, the list goes on and on. So they were late and the truck broke down. So that was the first problem. So they started to drape the ceiling, which again, there were two goals here. One was to hide those ugly chandeliers. And two, the bride wanted a beautiful wow factor. So what I had drawn on the paper wasn't going to quite work the way that I thought it would, which we often run into that. But we always figure out a really good solution. And I had to leave to go do the ceremony, and I trusted my drape team to do it. I mean, we we work together all the time, and typically we troubleshoot together, but I thought that they were going to be okay. So I leave, I go to the ceremony, I come back, knowingly that the guests are going to be just a few minutes behind me, and they still have ladders all out in the middle of the floor, the way that they had hidden one of the chandeliers, and there was like four, I think, that had to be covered. I mean, it looked like, it didn't look good. Let's just keep it at that. And there was no way that I could hide what was happening because it was a very open venue slash country club. So knowingly, again, that the guests are about to come in, there was a little bit of a pre-function area And so I had some of my team members like station themselves around the open area, just inviting guests towards the back and to go outside, even though it was hot as hell. Um, I mean, they could see the ladders. They could see people up in the ceiling working. And I was mortified. But I told the guys, I'm like, you have to finish something. Like, make this look decent. You've got to get the ladders down. Like, this is not safe. And of course, I wouldn't let guests walk through the the dinner area because it's not safe, like with the ladders everywhere. Um, And so they fixed it as fast as they could. It was not what I thought it was going to be. I was very, very unhappy and very displeased. And when the bride and groom came in, 
the first thing she said was, oh, this is interesting. It's not what what I pictured. And I said, honey, it's not what we talked about at all. And we'll talk about it later. The most important thing is you're marrying your best friend and we're going to have an awesome dinner and you have a beautiful cake. She had like this amazing sparkly cake. And I was trying to focus on the positive things and not like sit down in the middle of the floor and cry because I hated it too. You just had to like move on with things. And it was just It was really sad because that was the one wow factor that I knew that was so important to her. Yeah, that was definitely like a perfect storm type of wedding where so many things that if one of those would have happened, you know, we could have handled it. But the truck breaking down, you know, and then having the chandeliers not be exactly where we thought, it just, it put us, the truck like put us so far behind anyway. And then having to come up with a backup plan, you know, it was just a lot of stuff went wrong and it was unfortunate, but it ended up looking pretty. Everybody had a great time and that's all that matters. But Angela, what would you say your biggest takeaway was from everything that happened that day? My biggest takeaway is now if we work at new venues um, and we do a lot of destination weddings and I'm really aggressive in making sure that we can go there and map it out and take the time to make sure that we know where all the hang points are and what the chandeliers are doing. And, you know, if we do have a destination wedding and I can't go, I get a lot of pictures or video and I'm very, very thorough in making sure that we are well prepared. But I will say it's it's situations like this that happened years ago that it really makes us better planners and we learn from it. And again, like you said, everybody was happy at the end of the day. They had a great time. They had a great party and they still have a great marriage. They still keep up with us. So it wasn't the end of the world. Great. Well, Angela, can you share with our listeners some of the different products and resources you have available to help wedding and event planners? Absolutely. You can visit the blog on the website, and there's lots of great articles and resources available there, which it's angelaprofit.com. You can sign up for tips and resources and be part of our email list. We'll send you all kinds of juicy details. We do webinars and live events, so watch social media for more about that. Awesome. Well, Angela, thank you so much for sharing your valuable advice with us today. I can't wait for next week to tell more of our incredible experiences together. And thank you, Allison, so much for joining me. And thank you so much to our listeners for joining us today on Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design. Tune in next week to learn more from our past experiences. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with other wedding and event professionals. Be sure to subscribe today so you never, ever miss the juicy details of Weddings Unveiled. I'm so passionate about helping other event professionals, and with my background in psychology, I appreciate that our best selves develop from real-life situations. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, Connect with us on AngelaProfit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to AngelaProfit.com.